c'était comment j'ai eu So it was uh, at the end of uh, Prophet and the idea really came from doing a remake. So talking about a, a prophet, of course, um, Sam Raimi is rumored to be made doing a remake. Um, what are your views on that? Est-ce que ça me fait? Rien du tout. Nothing. How have Sri Lankans reacted to sort of your portrayal, I guess, of the civil war that happened there? What is sure is that uh, people have been um, warm towards the idea of someone coming and being interested about them and being interested enough to tell their stories. So I think this is something they got very warmly. You have Yelami, the lead female character, who seems to be more of a, a selfish character. You know what, even the title of the movie, he wasn't really happy about because it, it, it puts the light on the male main character. But you know what, it was her that changed the most within the whole movie. And she was so interesting and she was like an, um, a catapult towards all the change that even happened to the main male character. Sometimes when artists create work, it's a little bit biographical, and there's a bit in the film that really stands out for me where the, the young girl says, uh, give me a kiss like everyone else. And of course, I've got to wonder, is, does this come from your relationship maybe with your mother? <laughs> oh, kiss me, mommy. <laughs> it's very funny when you have uh, this um, uh, little child dictating to older people what they need to do so at a certain time you have her saying kiss me like everyone does and at a certain moment you have um, her saying oh if it's too difficult for you to be my mom then maybe you should just be my sister so in your films there is a lot of violence um, that's physical violence but there's also this strange emotional violence or an emotional tension there uh, where does that come from Yes, I've always been interested in uh, emotions that are a little bit extreme, but maybe even uh, within the characters who have forgotten how to feel about things. Maybe when they are confronted with that moment where the feelings just have to get out, maybe they don't really know how to control it, so it will naturally just come in an extreme way. So Deep Bang, for example, have forgotten about feelings for a long time. So when he's confronted with this situation, it's just logic that whatever will come up or come out of him will be kind of extreme. No file zone. As a filmmaker, how do you feel about reviews? Do you do you like getting them? Yes, I think that they, they are necessary. I don't know if I like it or not. This is not the question. It's necessary. I'm coming from this uh, this age of uh, the cinematography where you come on, um, yes, from c c cinema area where the, the, the critics was uh, was necessary, really. Well, I'd like to say congratulations on getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. For now, that is, for now. Merci beaucoup.